What is up, YouTube? It is about a week and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four days since my show. And this is the first time I've picked up the camera. It feels super weird because I was vlogging pretty much every other day during the prep series. And first of all, thank you so much for every single one of your support over the last eight, nine weeks with prep. It fucking does make a hell of a difference and it goes a long way. The likes, the comments, the love that you guys share on the videos, it does really help me stay on track with everything. Obviously I do everything for me in, in the sense that I am a bit selfish and I'm all about you know doing things for yourself and becoming the best version of yourself for you not for anyone else but the fact that you guys support me follow me use my codes for ghost alphalete zephyr you guys are the reason we kind of do this stuff for and it makes it a hell of a lot easier for me to vlog make content when i know i've got eyes on me so i do appreciate you lot it does mean a hell of a lot and i hope you guys understand that so thank you so much and continue to use those codes because it does go a long way anyway it is thursday the 22nd of september we are currently packing can you guys guess where we are going it's not dubai me and ellie are relocating to dubai when i get back from this vacation um but that's october the 10th so when i get back i'll have about 10 days and then i'm off again which is going to be super cool so make sure you guys stick around for that the content's going to be next level me and ella are going to be there for around two months the content is gonna be unbelievable and so much easier to do content in other places, especially as the nights are starting to draw in here in the UK. Dark in the mornings, your boy gets up at half five, it's pitch black, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're packing, we're getting ready, we're leaving quite early tomorrow morning, so I need to get this done. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And just like that, people, we are in Texas. We're in Houston for our fleet shoots again. We're actually in the same room. I think it's the exact same room that me and Josh had last time. I'm not here with Josh this time. It's me, it's myself of vlogging. Um, obviously, I know a few of the lads that are coming out as well. Um, I've literally landed, got straight to the um, straight to the hotel, literally like now. It's now 5.34 p.m. I left London at 10.35 a.m., so it's been a long day. But I've just unpacked some bits, had a bit of food. Uh, I'm gonna go to Target, get some supplies, come back, then go to the gym, because I think Christian wants to train tonight. So let me get on with that, get back here, because your boy needs to stock up the fridge with some almond milk, and we need some cereals, because that is where we get the pumps from. Right guys, I'm gonna just continue to vlog what I'm doing over the next couple of days. I'll end the video and start a new one and continue to show exactly what we're doing here and give you guys a bit of an insight as what is involved as an athlete athlete. Once again, I appreciate all the love, support with the code that you guys use, because um, the, the more you use my code, the more opportunity arises, and I really, really appreciate it. So make sure you do always use Coco at checkout. Right, people, back from Target. Let me show you what we got. So we've gone and got quite a bit of stuff. So obviously we've got the Reese's Pieces. This time around, I've got the family size box. We've always got a massive load of almond milk to go with that. I've actually bought some eggs. Now I've got a microwave over there, or as some say, a microwave. So I might do some eggs and some cheese in the mornings. Um, I did get some, I'm gonna try and keep these around um, my training. These look awesome, by the way. Cinnamon Toast Crunch oatmeal. I'm probably sure they just cost more money than that. It's probably the same, just because it's got Cinnamon Toast Crunch on it. Almond butter, I spent the money. This was like seven quid, guys. Like I could have got some normal peanut butter and stuff, but. I've just had enough of putting different ingredients in my body. This is just 100% almond butter and I find this is better than peanut butter at the moment. I bought a massive load of trail mix because for some reason I'm really fancy this sort of stuff right now, high fats. And I'm gonna have my porridge with almond butter, chocolate and a load of bananas. I brought wraps, cheese and ham. If I'm really feeling hungry and I'm in the room, I can just snack on that. These, because they're an absolute joke, um, bought some Takis, load of water, Listerine, and the best toothpaste in the world. Oh my giddy giddy, oh my gosh, about 15 quid that, but it's not a bad price considering they're like 10 pounds if you order them online. 
So yeah, that's what we got so far. I was a bit rushed because the Uber driver, very nice lady, she said, you're out of town. If you want to just pop in, go get some bits. I'll wait here for you. And I was like, really? Because sometimes if you say you see you later to the Uber driver, whatever, and then you book another route when you come out. It can take ages, because right here, we're, not, we're in the middle of actually nowhere. So she was a really nice lady. She paused the fucking fair and just said, I'll wait here for you. And I was like fucking rushing around Target, which is like the biggest shop in the world, looking at everything, thinking I want to buy you, I want to buy you, I want to buy you. I'll have a bit of you, I'll have a bit of you, I'll have a bit of that, I'll have a bit of this, do you know what I mean? Thinking, fuck it, I've got to go, because she's out there waiting. So, a bit rushed, but I'll be heading back there at some point to go and finish off the shop. And I think Ellie's putting an order of stuff she wants as well. I just want to go there and walk. I, I love shopping, guys, even in London. I love going to Tesco's and walking around and buying things. It's about 80 quid, by the way, in there. That, that cost me 80 quid, so it's spendy. But, so yeah, I'm gonna head back there. I'll probably take you guys with me next time I go and show you around because the place is incredible. So anyway, I'm now, is that Danny messaging me now? Yeah, Danny's messaging me now about leaving, so I shall catch you guys later. Right, quick freshen up of the shave. Comes up a little bit, but that's just how it is. Anyway, wow, it is hot. It is, I think it's 36, 37 degrees on the uh, on the temperature app. It says it feels like 39 today because the humidity is 40%, which is mental. I know I'm wearing all black, all black apart from the trousers. By the way, this Houston heat, my arm. Look, I'm not even shredded. <laughs> I'm not shredded, people. I, I trust me, I'm not. Compared to my show, obviously I'm a bit chubby in the cheeks already. It's all good. I actually prefer the clean shave. I am going to be getting some more jaw fillers. I don't know if you guys, have, I don't know if I've even spoken about that. I do get jaw fillers because I've never been able to be, be clean shaven. But um, obviously when I was dieting, I had diet face, haven't got that anymore. But anyway, my arms and my shoulders and my back look good. Abs are slightly gone. It's all good. I'm waiting for my Uber now. I'm going to go get some supplies from Target and then head my way to Alpha Land and see if we can get a good session in tonight. I, I probably shouldn't. I've stepped about three or four hours on the plane. Um, so that's three hours sleep in 24 hours so far, and it's going to be a lot longer, so ridiculous. But anyway, let's go. Sorry, buddy, the lift took forever. Oh, that's all right. <sighs> How's it going? You okay? Yeah, doing good. How about you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Right, guys, so we've just got to the VIP. Now, if you remember correctly, most things are still the same, like the kitchen and that, but they've actually put a wall in. They've put a wall in here uh, as well as you come in. They've got some more detailing stuff here. We've just made it more enclosed, I guess. I don't know why, but it, I'm rating it. I think it looks pretty sick. I mean, me and Danny were just saying, Danny's over there. Me and Danny were just saying, when we first walked into the VIP section, we were just like, what the actual fuck? It's actually incredible. So a few things have changed, which looks pretty cool, but you know what Christian's like. He literally just likes to change things up all the time, make them all new. We've got some other stuff in there. It's just little things that make a hell of a lot of difference. Look at the skyline tonight as well. Look at that. Wow. Right, anyway, we're gonna go and hit up a session. I'm not gonna film today's session because we are both beaten, traveling all day. Danny's fell asleep and then now doesn't wanna train. <laughs> but we'll, um, we'll catch up with you guys later on. Just like that, we are back. Guys, it is 10.46. That was the longest session of my entire life. We did about, I say that, it was probably about two hours, but we did talk quite a bit. Um, it is late, it's 10.30, 10.46. Sorry, I do need some food though, so I am gonna have uh, a couple of a couple of sachets of this, um, some dark chocolate, almond butter, and some bananas, because that is exactly what I'm fancying. I'm gonna make that and show you it right now. I do need to have a shower though, because your boy, is feeling grossy. My back's in bits because obviously I've been flying all day. Um, and yeah, I went and trained, which is probably stupid, but I feel good. I needed that and I felt like my arms just needed a little bit of a pump up. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, right, let me make this and I'll show you exactly what it is once I finish. Right, we are gonna go for these ones actually. It's weird, they come like little packets like normal and then you have to top it with cinnamon toast, cinnamon dust topping. So yeah, let's go. I've got my little my little station here, my little uh, oat station. I'm gonna have two sachets of this, I think. Let's go for it. Wowzers, people. Look at that bowl of oats. That is what we're talking about. We're going for the cinnamon toast crunch one. 20 grams of peanut butter, sorry, about 20 grams of almond butter, 20 grams of dark chocolate, one banana, which is probably about 120 grams there. Two sachets of the oats. We're not tracking, people. We're not tracking right now. 
We're just getting through the day to be honest with you. I'm absolutely battered. It's way too late to be eating, it's 11 o'clock. But we're on different times at the moment because I would not normally train this late. I was just training in the gym at 10, 10 gone 10 o'clock. I'd never do that at home. But it feels different here in America. Everyone's walking in the gym at 10 o'clock feeling like it's absolutely fine. So we're gonna eat this. I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube. I'm actually really interested in watching this guy called Jamie, Jamie Christian at the moment, AKA the giant. I'm really, like he's the world's tallest IFBB pro. And um, I just enjoy watching him. So I'm gonna eat this, chill out for a bit, have a shower, and then get some good sleep. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning team. It is now 6.30, 6.30 a.m. Um, we are coming down here. So I've got this little gym in my hotel room. It's nothing, it's nothing mad, it's nothing mad. But for cardio, it's absolutely fine. And I am bulking it. Well, I'm not kind of bulking yet because we're only two weeks post show today, literally two weeks post show today. And two weeks post show is very, very important to not be a dick, basically, and eat a shitload of food. Obviously, I had a couple off days. Obviously, I've up my calories and my carbs, but I've been pretty good. I've been pretty clean, which is why I've kind of stayed slightly intact. I'm going to be moving over to a bulk as soon as I get back from here. Um, even here, I'm going to be eating a bit more food than normal. So, doing like 40 minutes cardio. I'm keeping that in for now to help with information, get the legs moving. I don't do many steps in America for some reason because everywhere you go, like there's a target like four minute Uber away. But to walk it, it's 45 minutes. It's not, it's just crazy. So we're keeping cardio in. Uh, I'll probably do this every morning. I feel much better after, look how puffy my face is in the morning. Not ideal. I've just realized I left my coffee upstairs. Absolutely fumes, I need to go get that. But I'm gonna do 40 minutes of this and get some breakfast. So I'll catch up with you guys at breakfast time. Okay, so Cardo's in the bag, literally 40 minutes, um, just on a 5% incline, I think. Was it 3% incline and five walk? whatever that is, five speed. So obviously all, all treadmills are different, but that burned around 290 calories, so that's pretty good in the end. So 40 minutes, 290 calories, 400 calories, whatever. Got myself a nice large black coffee. Now I'm staying in this hotel called the Marriott, Courtyard Marriott Sugarland. There's a couple. Uh, we're staying in, well I'm staying in one that's in Lake Point. Reason being, it's got a microwave, it's got a fridge, um, it's got a little more space than the other one that I've stayed in before. But the problem is, this, this it's annoying because it's got this breakfast spot here which is great because it's easy it's got Starbucks coffee come down and get some breakfast and this is why I bought eggs yesterday because for some reason the chefs are not allowed to make an omelette on the board it says eggs your way but eggs your way comes with bacon sausage beans bread and all that sort of stuff I just want eggs I want just eggs on my own on their own right and they're not allowed to make an omelette they said we can do scrambled I said well yeah but if you make the eggs and don't scramble them that's an omelette makes no sense anyway so we've just spent 12 quid on a coffee and four eggs that are gonna come scrambled but it's all good it's fine uh, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and make some porridge um, do you know what I've just been looking at myself in the mirror when I was just training then I need to put on some size I need to put on some serious size and to do that you need to eat we're now two weeks post show so I can actually eat more now I am when I get back from America I'm gonna go over some stuff with my coach and try and make a serious plan obviously I'm going to Dubai and um, when I land in London, I'm, I'm there 10 days and I'm going to Dubai, but I need to make a serious plan about how to put on some size and now um, the food needs to, gonna need to go in. So I'm gonna have these eggs here, a bit of protein. I always like to have protein, um, like, so obviously you can get leucine uh, from it, like a BCAA, which is obviously part of the branch chain amino acid, from every protein, but I want it in its actual form in the mornings. I definitely love to have like eggs or something that's got you know, original form pre uh, BCAAs from it, from the food. So I do that in the mornings. Like you can get it from protein powder and things like that, but it's not in its actual form, is it? And then I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna make a massive bowl of oats, just make loads of oats again with dark chocolate and banana again, because it's I'm absolutely craving it right now. So I'm gonna eat this when it comes, drink this coffee, uh, and then I'm gonna make that. Um, and then today's gonna be quite a chill one. I'm actually gonna try and do a lot of client calls today, because I'm quite busy from Monday to Friday this week while I'm here. Got a little special little shoot as well that I might be doing with another company while I'm out here. You guys will know the company if you've been watching the YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Right guys, so this is breakfast. I did ask for it without any bread whatsoever, but the, probably, probably because they've charged me like 11 pounds for an omelette, they're thinking you should probably give him something other than just four eggs. I've got eggs upstairs, I could have just made it myself, but I fancied it today. So annoying, I'm gonna probably eat one of these slices of bread, not two, because I don't need it, and I'm gonna go make my porridge in a minute, but I'm gonna eat this. I'm watching a bit of YouTube at the same time, uh, and then I'm gonna go and sort the room out, because my room's still a mess. Right, so you do know what, I thought, I was sitting out there, and I was looking outside thinking, why don't I just come and chill in the sun? I've not had a coffee in the sun since the middle of May. 
So we're here, we're chilling, we're having a coffee. The coffee was too hot and I was rushing through it. And yeah, and do you know what? I ate both the slices of bread. This is the problem, guys, right? I want to talk to you quickly about goals as well. I will end this video soon as well. But goals. When I was on prep, the goal in mind was to get as lean as possible, conditioned, get on stage, feel good, look good, blah, blah, blah. That goal in the head, you don't go off. I don't go off track. I've got the goal in my head. I'm not going off track. I don't go fucking gram over anything. As soon as the goal finishes and the new goal comes in mind, but we can't start the new goal until realistically, I'm going to up the carbs slightly while I'm here because I just said to my coach now, realistically, if I up the carbs while I'm here and I'm eating a lot more porridge, I'm eating a lot more um, of the good stuff, if you like, you know, especially in and around my training because the amount I'm going to be training is a joke, it won't make me want to eat more of the shit. So... I think that's going to be a very logical thing to do. When you haven't got a long-term goal in your head, things become a lot fucking difficult, guys. Seriously, like to, the, the urge not to eat something becomes more difficult and things like that. But what I want to talk to you quickly about is diet and ingredients. Guys, on prep, I reckon I had 9, 10, 11 ingredients maximum throughout the whole of prep. You know, you ha I have around six or seven carb sources. So I, on prep, I had, I didn't eat much rice, but I had rice, I had rice cakes, um, I stayed away from bagels this time. Um, I had, didn't have much oats, cream of rice, all up. I came up to this sort of stuff towards the end, more so with, with, with the carb ups, but I had the same carb sources every single week. You know, I'd, I'd skip between three or four different carb sources. I have the same protein source. I either have chicken, turkey, or have like a lean ground beef mince um, for some red meat. Towards the end, again, you take out the red meat because the digestive system might not work as effectively with something like uh, mint, uh, mint meat as opposed to fish, things like that, you know, and I'm a massive believer and I think everyone should take this on board, whether you're dieting fucking hard or not, just limit the amount of ingredients you eat in over a course of a week, genuinely. So, say if you're going out and you're having, you know, all these meals and stuff and you feel bloated, the reason you feel bloated is one, because there's a lot of sodium in these meals that you're eating out, but two, the amount of different ingredients you're putting into your system. Try and keep, if, for the average person, try and keep to 15 ingredients over the course of the week. The same carb sources, you know, a couple of different protein sources, uh, and the same fat sources, like you can have dark chocolate, you can have peanuts, you can have peanut butter, almond butter, you know. Try and stick to the same sources, and I guarantee you, you'll feel so much better come the end of the week, uh, and you'll wanna stick to it. You actually wanna stick to it. So, yeah, right, I'm gonna chill here, drink this coffee for a bit, and I'll catch up with you guys later on. Right, so I literally just smashed that. Um, sorry, I didn't film it, guys. I was on the phone, so I couldn't really do anything. But um, I just finished that porridge. I'm actually watching the show day vlog, which is going to be going live. Well, it'll go live before this video. So make sure if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. And I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. Um, I wanted it to be a bit more of a movie rather than like a vlog, and that's exactly what it is. And it's looking at me, looking that shredded. I fucking miss being shredded already, <laughs> but I know we need to make sure we are packing on some calories, packing on some pounds over this next sort of seven, eight months. Uh, and then we're gonna, I'm definitely gonna be competing next year again, guys. I fucking loved every minute of it. Um, I loved every minute of prep. I loved every minute of being on stage looking like a fucking animal. Look, I just love how lean I looked. We need to bring a much better physique next year. So super gas for it. So off season, is going to be well and truly enjoyed. But I'm literally going to watch up this now, get it uploaded to YouTube, ready to go live on Sunday. Look. <sighs> Missed it already. Uh, I'm then going, going to go and train back at Alpha Land. Should I take you guys along with me? I think this is already a bit of a long video, so I probably I won't take you guys along with me, but I will get some shots, some videos of me training at Alpha Land. We didn't train with Christian last night, actually, because he didn't get back to me in time and I just wanted to train, so I went and trained on my own with, uh, with Danny, sorry. Um, but I will hopefully be training with him over across the course of the week. Um, we've got a party tonight, which I don't really need because I don't, I'm not drinking anymore, guys. I've actually kind of quit drinking. I've not drank for fucking six months. I just don't need to. I don't really enjoy drinking. I don't really enjoy the way it makes me feel. I don't really enjoy the taste of the alcohol. Uh, and I'm really just focused on seriously just drumming in this year and just working on my off season and it absolutely going ham on it. So I'm really excited to see how we look next time we step on stage compared to how we did before. Look at this, this is a movie, people. Make sure you go and watch this video if you haven't already watched it.
Okay, so I am going to take you guys with me today. I'm going to try and get some footage of the gym and I wanted to show you guys my outfit because my outfit's a joke. This is launching very soon. Um, I don't know when, but it's launching very soon. It's another, another drop shoulder, oversized tee, pump cover, the best fitting t-shirts that Alfleet do. I've got this in a double XL, fits me a dream. I've got my old school bodybuilding pants on guys, but I take the bombs. Uh, I've actually taped them in, in black. Um, you can't really see that when I'm in the gym as well, but I'll show you over here because it looks much better in the mirror. I really do like these these fit, um, obviously because they're just nice and baggy here. Like they're perfect. I just don't like the baggy bottoms, which is why I tape them, but I think it's a cool look. You don't have got to do it if you don't want to, but I think it's cool. I'm actually going to try and get Alphalete to create some. I've actually drawn up what I think they should do. So I'm going to try and see if uh, I can persuade Christian to make them with some tight cuffs because they look cool. Perfect for cardio, perfect for training in because they're nice and light. Anyway, let's go. I'll catch you guys at Alphalete. <laughs> From a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Oh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end And we run without shame Right, that is the session in the bag. Unbelievable session, I've literally done about two hours, 15 minutes guys, but obviously I took my time today. It's really, really hot. I'm having quite a bit of rest in between sets because obviously I started off with quite heavy rack pulls and obviously my back was in bits from flying, so I took it quite easy and obviously took about two, three minutes in between each, each uh, set. So I wanted to just make sure I gave myself enough recovery time um, and obviously people chatting and stuff like that. So very, very good session, quite a lot of um, sets, reps and uh, exercises, which is what we love. Um, feel really, really good. I think Danny's over there playing football, so I might go and have a quick kick about, see what we're doing over there. But my knees are not up to scratch with that, are we? We know we've done the ACL back in the day. So we don't want to be fucking that up today. Anyway, I need some food. What I'll do is I'll go and see Danny quickly. I want to get, take a photo of me as well. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys at the uh, Alfreds because I need some food um, ASAP. So let's go. Let's look. Danny's got his little set up there. He's missed the goal completely, which is great. It's actually quite good, a little set. Imagine this in your back garden, that'd be ideal. That's what I'm, this is what I sort of feel my back garden's gonna look like. Like genuinely, when I have a house, my back garden's just gonna have literally two goals. Watch this, let me set this up. Let's see if I can hit the crossbar, people. I'll call it now, crossbar. Nope. <laughs> Nice 
nice and simple people, we've got six ounces of ground beef. I don't even know how much rice to honest with you, but what have we got? One cup, one cup of rice, two cups of asparagus. I wasn't going to get veg, but asparagus is a natural diuretic, so we're good to go. And that makes me happy, man. Rice and mince. What a combo. Uh -oh. We also picked up this five one bar. Is it a five one bar? It's a one bar anyway. 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. It's maple glazed donut. So let's see what this is saying. Oh yeah, it's 23 grams of carbohydrates. Mm. That is good. The consistency is next level. Right team, we are back at the hotel room, absolutely battered. It is now 4.19. Um, good session. I will include some of the sets and reps that I did on most of the exercises that I did today. Really, really good session. Unbelievable, in fact. I did get some food at Alpha Eats, which you guys saw about. I'm actually going to make up some more, more oats because I'm so hungry right now. I can barely speak. Um, I am going to end the vlog here, guys. I know it's been a bit all over the place, this one, but bear with us. Um, it was just like, sort of like a getting here vibe. Getting in, getting the session done. Um, it's been a good one, but it's a very busy week. I've got two shoots of Alphalete, one Monday, one Thursday. Uh, and also, if you guys don't know, I work for a company called Zephyr, which is also based out in Houston, and we will have another shoot as well with them, which is pretty cool. But also, I'm gonna be bringing out my own range with Zephyr, guys, and I can't wait to, to design it and plan it. It's gonna be unbelievable. I'm actually gonna go meet the owner. Uh, well, I've never met the owner fucking loads of times, but I'm actually gonna go to his house and have a meeting with him on Wednesday and go through some bits. So I'll take you guys along with me that one and, sh and show you guys and sort of some behind the scenes of what I want to do. Um, but it's going to be absolutely awesome. Guys, I just want to say I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. I, I really do. It really does mean a hell of a lot to me that you guys are still using my code and supporting me. Without you guys using my code, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, I'm just a guy that's from Suffolk originally and I'm out here in America working one of the biggest brands in the, in the name. So in the name, in the game. So I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. It does mean the world. Forever Code Kieran, I love you all. See you later. Peace.